grass is back. A little, uh, a little soggy today. But I obviously slacked a little bit again. Um, it's been a couple days since my last appointment. I did have Miss Debbie come up and do her finest work, apparently. Um, see if I can show y'all real quick. Yeah, we might be getting a little water down here. I mean, I, I think the bike's tire's a little under under the water, but it'll be a fun ride home either way. But y'all have seen it before, nothing fancy. Doesn't look special just from looking at it, but boy, does it fit so much better. And just how clean it is, the craftsmanship. Y'all can see or tell, there is no peeling or fraying carbon fiber fibers or anything along those lines. Ugh, so much better. That paint at the bottom is completely gone, and it was from the time that I, I first put it on. I, uh, I put it through its paces for sure. I would have been doing front flip and somersaults, but I was up and down the stairs about a hundred times. Went for a couple rides on the bike if I could, because that's the main, the big test. But I can walk so good with it. And like one of y'all mentioned in the comments, uh, it definitely was a thought that crossed my mind. Don't get me wrong, but when one of my legs that I have to trust now, especially for the little guy, broken two different pieces to just end up on my backside there on the ground and just everything just happened that quick without even realizing it wow some good lightning great time to be on the phone uh, i just and long story short it was just something i didn't expect like most things but this one is great uh the only thing i'm gonna have to see if i can have her uh which shouldn't be a problem expand on the area that goes around my knees a little bit it's not bad, but it's, just, it's real tight and it's kind of cutting in, carving into the kneecap. So if I can get that just heated up and pushed out a little bit and figure out this whole sock and ply situation, I think I'll be doing all right. For the most part right now, it feels pretty good. And if y'all remember, like I said, with the new set of legs, they got the sleeves. They're more active, I guess. So they're way more uh, stretchy. If I didn't say it before, the best way I can explain it, <clears throat> it's going from almost like a tire inner tube to a latex glove that much of a difference it's insane it doesn't feel like i'm actually trying to fight to walk so much anymore but i had to make this quick video real quick little guy is still doing awesome he's in napping right now thank goodness he wakes up enough and boy i think i get everything this second time around everything i missed and didn't get the time before especially the uh sprinklers and all that yeah i'm definitely catching it now i'm, I'm getting everything that i, I read last time but he's still amazing. He's still great. It makes me smile. and just so happy every single day. So happy I got the second chance to have him again and do this all over again. I still have a blast and laugh like crazy with my first son. I mean, he's... Yeah. They're, they're both great. <laughs> they both make me extremely, extremely happy. And it makes it so much easier to be able to do any of this stuff. To get out, to go out, to do whatever. But I'll show y'all one more time. It's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty flooded, but pretty good. This guy's might clear up, maybe. Maybe. If not, there's nothing better than a 60 mile an hour shower. Uh, yeah, there's no new updates, I don't think. Anything else? I got some random doctor's appointments. Nothing big. Um, she's supposed to come back, hopefully, next week, I think, because I missed yesterday. We're just like a checkup, and then hopefully I can tell her about the knee and everything figure that out and then maybe I can finally get those running blades on again uh, I've been dying to get those things on staring at them looking at them just I know I'm not able to do a whole lot with them right now but I want to get to the gym that I never go to try to hop on that treadmill that's the one thing I want to try in the worst world I'm too much of a chicken to try to run by myself out here on the, the Florida pavement any of y'all been down here or live around here you've seen some of the stretches it's it's pretty rough it's got some good chunks sticking out of it so besides all that, hopefully the treadmill will be a little better. It's just whining and crying about the hassle of I gotta toss them in my backpack and I hate wearing a backpack on a bike. I mean, obviously I don't have saddlebags or nothing. I can't stand that. And if you ask me, that just hides the bike. I like to show the bike. I like to see everything. Um, but hopefully that'll work. If you can hear me over all the, the thunder. <laughs> um, that, that should be all right. It's just one of those things, obviously get to the gym and you know like anybody else would do totally normal pop your feet off and put on your running blades go for a little sprint on the treadmill whatever have you and then you know just switch them back up put your regular feet back on your regular boots back on normal day completely normal you know grab a coffee after but we'll see how that goes i'll definitely try to make a video on that i, I know i can wedge the phone on the treadmill so if i can get the first couple done before i put it on film 
or maybe I'll just do the whole thing just like everything else unedited just so y'all can see because I ain't gonna try to hide nothing if y'all are gonna go out there and try to do hopefully not some of the stuff I do but some crazy stuff pushing it and all that you know like you don't have to have somebody watching you you don't have to sit there and do any of that or edit it or nobody's gonna come around and come save you if you fall or if you make a good move so why should I try to hide it if anybody cares enough to see what I do and watch or whatever even though I know I gotta get better I gotta get these riding videos out and get more of the active stuff out but besides the whole swimming plans being pushed off today I haven't been swimming since uh, I had my right leg when I still had my right leg but not the left I went in for a little bit bobbed around it was pretty cool I felt pretty good but not because of the amputation just because of life and excuses um, I haven't been in the pool or a lake or anything since uh, been on two wheels that's been fine apparently I've been on my head you know that happened last appointment but uh, yeah I haven't played the whole bobber out I was gonna do it today but I, I don't want to be fried and crispy <laughs> at least by lightning but uh, we'll see how that goes next time I guess not that anybody's waiting to find out how that is but I am I want to see how that is because I don't have anything now I don't have that extra weight kind of pulling me down keeping me centered in the water like a buoy um, we'll see I'm sure it'll be fine I know I can still swim in my arms and everything so we'll see how that goes but that is all the new updates. Um, like I said, thank God the little guy is doing healthy, uh, doing good. He's healthy. And he's up to a little over eight pounds now. And he's putting down the food just like he's putting out the diapers. And just, yeah, we'll save that. Y'all know, y'all already know about that. But we'll see. Like I said, tomorrow I just got a random checkup appointment. I got to see, do something about this wrist too. Not to cry or complain, but whatever that little rod is. If you could see that bump right there that kind of moves. <laughs> it's gotten a lot bigger. And uh, I don't know, after riding the bike for a while with a throttle and then trying to rev mats and everything, it's just, it, it feels like it just punch a wall all day. I'll do it, I won't stop, but I really want to get them to check that out and look at that along with my knees, because I'm sure those aren't looking too great either. Not that they do from the beginning, but we'll see how that goes tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get a nice ride into the doctors. We'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, y'all have seen the awesome bikes that shadri has been pushing out. I knew I wasn't going to win it, but I'd be lying to y'all if I said I wasn't, like, dying for that stepdad bike. That bike was gorgeous. How stretched that bike was, how low, how she sat, oh, just, just perfect. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Rachel, I'll never get rid of her. But that new FXR that he's got out there that he's showing off now, whoa, buddy, I'd fall out of my wheelchair, I'd fall out of my boots, I, I am head over kneecaps for that bike. That is, wow. And she goes, and she looks good, and sounds good. It's like check, 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 check. But anybody that's watching this video, if any of y'all are the ones that win that beautiful bike, congratulations. There's a couple of us from Florida that have won them. I haven't won anything, obviously. I don't care. I just love jumping in the live, seeing y'all, talking to y'all, and of course, throwing in what I can when I can. I try to throw in a ticket or two here and there. It's like 25 bucks for one or whatnot. Not rich, but I try to help out if I can. Just whatever it helps with trash, food, whatever anything those people are amazing absolutely absolutely amazing and y'all know that the camp out's coming in quick it's coming up quick uh that's one that i don't know why but i'm just really really dying to get to this one i don't know maybe it's just because it's been so long and i want to be to every single one but i don't know if i'll be able to do any sleep outs or anything sleepovers because the little guy but i'll definitely try to show up first thing early and just hang out as long as i can fly back to the house and then We'll do whatever after that, but this camp out this year is going to be pretty incredible, and I can't wait for it. I just, you know, got to wait. My weakness is being patient, but hopefully, 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 once everything gets figured out, especially, like I said, now they got the legs all straightened out. Well, I wouldn't say straight, but they're fitting better. Um, that's it. That's all I was waiting for. I mean, not to be, again, greedy, but I just really couldn't do anything when it came to this this right side. If I haven't already said it before, it was like having that little pebble or maybe that little piece of Lego in your shoe and you don't realize it and you put it in to go to walk and it was like that, but in the back of my calf muscle, right in the middle. It's like, God, oh, it doesn't help that I'm a wimp. But as soon as she swapped out and got me that new sock and I tried it out the other day, like I said, it just instantly gone, instantly gone. I was a little bit of a chicken taking steps, first couple of things, but then I was trying to spin and do all that. And, before I was two-stepping, I figured I'd just give it a rest, but 
I appreciate y'all like always, especially like I say, every single time the comments mean the world, anything. Hell yeah, how you doing? Thumbs up, anything like that. Plus, I like keeping in touch with y'all if I can. I'm definitely not the best with the phone, and I'm definitely not the best with it, even though I have Instagram, Facebook, all that fun stuff. But uh, I, the same thing applies always. If there's any new subscribers and there's anything y'all want to know or anything curious about, just leave it right down in the comments, please. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't mind. Like the video, you know. I do like it when you like it, but also it helps everybody else. It just for some reason I picked the worst name ever for YouTube, so it just helps push it out and get people so they can see it more and whatever that algorithm stuff is. I don't know. I'm not Bill Gates. I'm none of that. So uh, anything like that would help. And if you care to see the new update videos, I mean, if y'all don't already know about YouTube, that little bell icon in the corner there, you hit that and it'll show up when I actually get up and make another video. But um, back to the question thing, like I said, any of y'all before, anytime, anybody, doesn't matter, ask anything. Just try, like I said, if you don't mind, try not to make it extremely personal when it doesn't have to do with <laughs> my modifications. But other than that, I am wide open like a book nobody wants to read. On that note, staring at the water, hoping to get out here. It's nice and cool now, too. It's going to be such a great ride back. Bye. But uh, love y'all. I can't wait to hear from every one of y'all, too. And again, like I said, I don't want to ever say out names if anybody ever says it, but we'll see. Today is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So I'll probably drop this today or tomorrow, either way. Um, I love it. Love hearing from y'all. Love the new subscribers, like I said. I love talking to y'all and everything. And just, I think that's another reason, too, not to extend this again. But the camp out is going to be awesome because I think I'm going to be able to put a lot more comments and profiles to actual faces, you know. Just like that uh, that show I'm not going to mention on the Discovery Channel. You know, eyes to eyes and boots on the ground. That's, that's what I like to do. And I ain't buying nothing, a car, a, a bike, anything without a handshake. Like, it, that's the one stipulation. I don't care if it's my dream car. I'm walking away from it. If you don't shake my hand, that's not happening. But, uh, yeah, until then, I'll make out a couple new. I got a couple things coming up here. But uh, other than that... Like I said, love y'all. Stay good, stay healthy, and ride whenever you can. Not this, oh, it's raining, oh, I don't want to get wet. Get out there and enjoy yourself. Life is way too short, and we all know that the time limit we got, there's, there's no exact limit. It's just whenever, whatever, unfortunately. But it's good talking to y'all again. In the meantime, crash out.